my name is Christopher Graham and I am the abbot of the Church of Christ that's the first. Abbot is the, the priest that teaches the other priest then. And the eight priest you could say, the other priest then, the Church of Christ that's the first. And I'm also the second international vice president of the Imperial Ethiopian World Federation. Yes, I'm Elder June Anderson of the Church of Empire Lost the First. The Elder is the one that's in charge of the church. And I'm the first Vice President of the Imperial Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. I want to ask um, what is one of the biggest Rasta stereotypes you have heard of or experienced? Stereotype? Yeah. yeah Born education. Born education, as much as stress on education. When they get the first, and as much as they become king and take the three policies, turn one in hospital, one in a university and school. You know, so we couldn't follow local Rasta with them outdated saying, you know, born education. I that's a setback the movement, you know. I'm born politics. Politics is the food we eat, the tax we pay, the water rate, water, drink, everything. everything. That's politics. Mm -hmm. You know? So we go by. Rasta, Afri, vice of the earth, and also in the Senate. You know? So we like uh, that constitution change. Because Rasta is all in a three political party. Them come, them come some 36, some 40. You know, Rasta was here from before. From 1930. Even before that. Because yeah. Rasta come as yeah. Ethiopian, come as Vankish of War, Prison of War. You know? As Jacob Rice. Yeah. And as Zari Yakub. Emperor Zari Yakub. He was cut off by the Arabs yeah. and brought here to the Spaniards. So we never come here as a slave. No. We come as prisoner of war. Rasta kill book and bills, we said kill education. That's not true. That's all right. The man also say Rasta kill politics and say non political. I will tell you all about that's not true. That's all right. Them say Rasta was more ganja. Them think that it's not true. A herb is a sacrament within Rasta. And we established that in 2013 to the Church of Christ that's the first. That the herb is a sacrament. And they are so for commercialized. That's where they say I go on now. And that I'm still alive. We can erase that through education. That's why education is key to us. We put a bun, book and pencil like the whole rest of them used to say. But I want to tell you this, at that time when they did that, it was necessary because they were being taught in school to eat themselves. No indigenous history, nothing about us as other people. We were identified, we are slaves. So that's why the rest of them reject book and pencil and part of these things. And the politics was corruption. So no, I'm be a part of it. In fact, I said them really understand that it is necessary. You understand me? But after we institutionalized our church, our political party and these things, we couldn't burn politics again. We couldn't, you understand me? We couldn't burn education again. And we call for a new curriculum, which will include Rasta. And our holy days must be incorporated in Jamaica. Because Jamaica right now is only the Christian of Christmas and about Easter and these things under the government. But Rasta is not incorporated. In that, even though we incorporate the Church of Christ, that's the first from 2013, it's not a part of our daily living. The government don't do anything for do that. So we, I said, no, if them don't do these things and educate the people, the people them over always have this several secret behavior about Rasta, say Rasta are criminal, Rasta are thief, among them for bum ganja, in the like work and them thing there. Them thing that several secret thing we are against Rasta. And the people look for you as a Rasta and look for you as a criminal. Yes, I mean, among the bum ganja, in my mad people, because true when Rasta emerge, them lack of Rasta, and them put in a mad house, I say mad. Yes, I mean? So that's why we can think today. People that say Rasta man, so they see a Rasta, they see a mad. But now, you know, it's my 
say, teaching, show me that, say, we not for born education. No. We not for born Bible. No. I'm say the Bible, we found favor in the Bible. No matter what language is written, no, yeah. it still remain one and the same. But true to all Western Christian dogma teach me, you know, they, they teach me it in a, a way that, you know, one can interpret the Bible, but as Madison said, Islam Christian. and Judeo Christianity, they are, the it's not the only two religions, there are others, you understand? That's why, others. you know, we is a part of the others, you understand? Them say, we, we established through the Church of Christ that herb, that herb, that sacrament, life giving force, which is one of our pillars of the Church of Christ that's the first. So we have seven sacraments. Herb is the seventh one, which we established through the Church of Christ that's the first. That's another stereotype for Rasta. What do you think about? Um, Students being told in school to conceal their, you know, dreadlocks. Their dreadlocks? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm going to tell you this before you tell me. We don't call it dreadlocks. I mean, is there a common stereotype that again? It's, it's, it's really locks, not dreadlocks. Because dread means fear. It's just locks. No, that locks come to number six. And some from one to five and verse eight. Establish your head as holy through the Nazarite vow. You understand me? Joshua the Christ and all these people from the ancient time, if you go back and research it, Samuel and all those people, the mother make a vow, the mother named Hannah, said, No reason our company when I'm more relaxed than the vow we take. You understand me? And from that time, people are relaxed as a holy symbol. Our head belongs to God. Ras means head. You understand me? Tafara I mean creator, Rastafara I mean head creator. So we head is holy unto God and your head is anointed, our head is anointed through the church. You know I mean? So that whole concept why we cover our head because we don't want people who don't believe in our faith to relax. You know I mean? Because it's holy and we head anointed. That's why we can go in my right. Wait, so before he um, answers, so that means you don't have a problem then with a school telling to cover? No, no, we must no. cover. Lifestyle, you know, some wear them hats and them yeah. beard and them yeah. long hair, you know. And, so, and Muslim too. Yeah, and Muslim. Yeah, you know, every one of them different. Yeah, so, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people with that belief now, you know, the peers, them, from the peers, them agree, you know, them shouldn't deny them, you know, no, no, no school, no institution to deny, workplace are not like that to deny, you know. I'm really in culture, like that. You know? yeah. If you notice it's black, you notice that? I down a peak, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of tassel like a cap. It's, it's a headdress. It's yeah. a headdress, or a headdress, whole headdress. It's kind of prior cap. You know what I'm saying? So we identify that. Today in schools and these places, they're trying to tell the children that they cannot wear them locks. Now locks, as you know, is a natural thing. You know what I mean? So we are indigenous, and it's an indigenous head, head, head wear. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 I'm not saying it can't be natural. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's that the state do the, the system do. And even the other day we about a little girl in a school, them say her ears and cap and say she nasty and she dirty and she not clean. You understand me? <clears throat> and them things that. And them take her out of school and there should be a case right now, adjudicated right now on that matter. We have written a letter to many 
institution, yeah, and schools and stuff like that, and tell them and inform them of that right. Then people come to us and tell them, say, that it is against the law now because Rasta is established as a religion to the Church of Christ, that's the first. So they cannot anymore deal with the people, them like say, they are vagabonds, are dirty people, and they are not holy and religious. It's a holy thing. Yes, I mean, so we have that right, and everybody in Jamaica and worldwide have that right now because of that incorporation document from 2013 at the Parliament of Jamaica under the umbrella of the Church of Christ Latter First. So, lax is legal. <laughs>